happy to talk to Joe about that specifically after we're done. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Don't forget, we really want to hear about that and see if we can help you. Okay. Hi. Hi. Thank you all for what you do. I don't know how you do it, but do a great job. Um, I do a lot of work for equal rights uh, and come to the point we need equal rights for everyone. Uh, I go down uh, Oakland County once a week. We have meetings. It's generally a white population. Then I go down to Hand House in Detroit once a month. And the views of these people, what they need and what is different is amazing. But um, my main question was, why are not hate crimes uh, hard to prosecute and they don't get very much time so Oh, but we do. I just said talk about that. We do. We have the first ever unit in, we, in, the, in certainly in the state, um, that we deal specifically with, uh, with hate crimes, but also specifically with LGBTQ crimes as well, called Fair Mission. We partner with them and we prosecute uh, all the crimes, assaulted or otherwise, that deal with the gay and lesbian community. And as far as hate crimes is concerned, Gary's unit, we get them. We don't get a whole lot of them, but we do get them and we uh, look at those as well. So we do prosecute hate crimes. Last question. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe we have. We, we have to get in. Sorry. Prosecutor Worthy. I don't want to cut you off, but they're going to chop lights in a minute. But as far as the vaping is concerned, yeah, there's. Oh, go ahead. He is not. There are several bills in Lansing right now to address these issues, and I'm hoping that there will be statutes that we can deal with at that time. Most of it now is being handled on the city level, um, but we have to kind of wait and see what the legislature does and what laws they pass that we can then charge. That. Sir, if you have a, I'd be happy to talk to you more after that. I, I, I just wanted to say that, really quick here, I hadn't planned on saying anything, but uh, I had a case that I was going to bring to your office. I wanted to come down and get an uh, idea of how the format works so that I wouldn't burden you more than you're already burdening another department with handling. But in the interim, I'm sitting here and I remember in 1972, when your career was just beginning, I was leaving high school, that's 48 years ago. Oh, 1772, I wasn't a lawyer yet. <laughs> <laughs> this was in 1973, I was at the Red Devil Inn on, with my uh, fellow students on Finkel, and you came in, and I saw you, and just to see you. Yeah, that was in the 80s, yes. <laughs> okay. I got old. Okay. Yeah. But the, the point I want to make is that this is the first time I actually saw when I actually voted for someone, consistently voted for someone, and I'm actually seeing this momentum taking all these years and what kind of tenacity it takes to gather momentum, to have an in integrity, to bring about the changes that you yourself must feel, because you've been doing this a long time, and I just want to commend you for Thank that. You. And I don't think people realize that.
everybody here so we can further answer your questions. Thank you all for coming and we really appreciate it.